So, what do I need to do? Grab that out. I think I'm just gonna, you know, take kind of the easy way on that one. Wait, hold on. Okay, yep, you guys, I'm, I'm really drunk right now. I'm freaking just rocking a uh, full night of drinking. I haven't gone to bed yet. You know, thug life, bitches. I don't know. But, um, so as far as I know, you can't trade with these guys. I know you can in the future, but, you know, whatever. And uh, one thing you guys may want to do is message Wonderwolf and call him Squidward because that's uh, kind of like an inside joke. I make fun of him and these NPC villages remind me of him. Oh man, let me love you. Oh no. Yeah, run to the cactus, man. You're smart. Very smart, man. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's a lot of monsters just, like out right now, so I'm kind of in a good shape. That just looks like terrifying. Like, you ever, you ever like a basement in your house and you freaking, it's one of those basements where you go down the stairs and it like, it like, it's not just like stairs and then you're there. It's like stairs and then it's got like that little base and it like turns right or left or whatever, you know what I mean? Like one of those little things where it's like just fucking, here's the darkness and it's not like you can just start seeing into the room from where you're at. You have to walk down there and then turn that corner. Like freaking, I was living in a, a house back in the day, probably when I was like 14 years old and I was with my mom and my sister and freaking that, the power went out. My mom was like, go flip the breaker because I think we had like a power surge, but this is like, 12 o'clock at night. Oh shit, skeleton. Not even looking around, I'm just running. Alright, nope, not fighting him. Run away. But, pretty much, it's freaking, uh, what's it called? It is, it's like 12 at night. It's dark as shit, and I have to go to the basement. And pretty much, like, I have a flashlight. I, I open the door and shine the flashlight down there. Just, just, that's like the most terrifying shit. Not to mention, there's a, there was like this sort of fire escape ghetto, like, this ghetto fire escape thing where it's like, we had this window in the basement that leads to this kind of like thing that you crawl out of it's like this small space with like a tiny ladder that you climb up of, like out of out of like one of those tiny basement windows pretty much that window got broken because my dumb friend hit it with a basketball shout out to you tony love you man anyways he broke it with like a basketball or some bullshit so pretty much someone could just like just kind of push that window open whatever remained of it and just break into the house which i don't i don't understand why someone would just randomly do that like on it on the freaking time we would have a power edge but you just gotta think i'm 14 years old and i'm shitting bricks and i thought that was a creeper fuck you cactus but yeah so like that's that was one of the terrifying moments of my life if you guys you know have ever ever wanted to hear things from me i, I got dozens of stories to tell i imagine i'll be telling them throughout this let's play but i don't know what am i gonna do now so i got a little bit of xp uh i don't xp doesn't really matter because of freaking what's it called I'm gonna need to get that sugar cane, but I think I'll wait till morning because I don't even have a sword yet. So, go like that, and then there we go. Get some torches now. I think I'm gonna grab some more wheat because when I go in the mine, I'm gonna wanna, you know, spend a lot of time down there. I really don't like spending a lot of time in mines just because it, uh, you know, it gets boring. It's, uh, and not to mention, like, sometimes. You just get that urge where you already have a ton of shit, like, you just, like, like, I, I will go down there and I will not leave until I have, like, six stacks of iron. So, there, there's times where I actually have the six stacks of iron and then you come across a, uh, uh what the hell are they called? The, uh, like, the abandoned mines. And there's, like, all those freaking like, cave spider spawners down there and, like, let me tell you, that shit's a battle. If you don't have good armor, they will just ruin your shit, so... You know, that's that's one of the things. You'll probably expect to see me die on multiple occasions. If you're wondering what the difficulty is, it's on normal. I felt that would be a, uh, like a happy medium. Or a happy medium. I don't know if you guys understood what I said. Pretty much, uh, no, that didn't even need to be harvested. But pretty much it just means, like, I'm starting off, I have no armor, I have nothing. So easy would just, you know, you guys could just call me a bitch for that. I may up it to hard once I get in, uh, you know, a better situation. But right now, I just, you know figure rock myself just just a normal like this creeper will just fuck my day up if uh you know if he actually kills me which is probably headed this way and he's probably gonna block the door and I may have just screwed myself maybe not I don't know I like window panes I like being able to stand up in the window and just feel beautiful I don't know why I'm this skin I, I like my belt buckle you guys you guys like it my dude is a ginger I don't know I, I'm just trying to find a way to kill time right now it's I mean, like, I thought the villagers got attacked. I don't know if that's in future updates, because isn't that the point of an iron golem or whatever? It's supposed to kind of defend the villagers. I don't know. I want to make a snowman. 
Let's make a snowman, guys. Let's freaking just run all the way to a snow biome just to get that. And what else do you need? You need a pumpkin head? I don't know if you need anything else. Do you need coal? Do you need to actually make him like frosted snowman? Get that bitch top hat? Who knows? All right. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna make some food. Make some bread. I want to save some bread also, just because of uh, uh, what's it called? If I come across any animals, so I will leave three because. That's enough to, if I get two animals together, I can breed them. I know I need seeds for chickens, which I have just a shit ton of seeds. Um, I think one thing is, if I got lucky and happened to get a silk touch pickaxe, I could just, well actually no, I can delete these, uh, you know, that's all I'll do to kill time right now. I'm gonna delete these books, which all I'll need to do is get wood, but at least I get the, the books from it, so now I can actually remodel this, because on the previous world I was hiding in a... I was hiding in a house with a like a villager house with these books and I like shaped the uh, like the way the enchanting table was supposed to go around this so if you guys understand what I mean it was like I had to raise the floor up one my head was against the ceiling it was just bad like it wasn't enjoyable in any way um, so I'm just gonna situate myself with a chest here I'll get rid of that I don't know this makes me feel like I'm in a motorhome like I like these little kind of tables I don't know I got really bad ADHD, please don't judge me. Whoa, what the hell was that? Oh, hello. Yeah, that's right. Stay out of my house, bitch. My ass moved in. Alright, so I'm just gonna throw whatever the hell I don't need in here right now. So, just throw on the stairs. Don't need the wood, I'm carrying the logs. Um, I definitely need the bread. Um, I don't know if my hotbar bothers you guys. Like, my, my, always my setup is... Pickaxe, sword, whatever remaining tools, then torches after it, then food. Actually, no, food goes all the way on the end. Then I put, like, my, uh, I always carry a bucket of water. Because that's the thing, like, I'll probably be just throwing out either just tips you guys would already know, or just tips that, you know, may help you guys while I go caving and shit like that, just because it's, uh... Like, there's certain things that I do that really help, like, when you're going through a cave, and, uh, you freaking... I don't even know why I made that. I'm, I'm drunk, guys. I'm, I'm really... I'm just plastered. But, uh... Yeah, like, when I go caving, I always stick... Like, I always put torches on one side of the wall. I'm, I'm not really consistent. Like, when I go, I'll keep them on the right side. So that way you know when you're heading deeper into the mine or into the cave, whatever. Like, like going the... The way you came, the torches will be on the left side. Going, like, deeper into it will be on the right side. No, it's one of those things that really kind of... You know, it kind of helps you guys. Like, it, it'll probably help you guys out if I just, like, you know, telling you guys that. And then it's just one of the things that kind of helps me. Sometimes I forget to do it. And, you know, it's not cool. But, you know, whatever. So, I don't think there's anything else I really need to do. I could get that sugar cane over there. And I could knock out one of these rows and then start farming the sugar cane. Which, I think I'll do that because I don't see anything. There's, like, a few creepers. But that's nothing I can't handle. I can just outrun them. Um, I may go down back into that mine and just try to get one more piece of iron and then immediately come back up just so I could, uh, just so I can get a sword at least, because I'd rather have an iron sword than a stone one. Um, okay, since there's a bunch of cows over here, I man, I'm, I'm just all over the place with what I want to do. Right, I'm going to get rid of that creeper near the house over there, and then I'm going to make a small pit, maybe a 5x5, five five, something like that, and I'll just start... Just leading animals in, and I'll start farming or uh, breeding the animals over there, which will, you know, be incredibly useful. I'm actually just gonna try to get this asshole to blow up. Actually, maybe not. Okay, it happened anyways. I regret nothing. Get him, villager. Kick his ass. Use your nose. Shit. Okay. Um, what to do? Maybe I'll just do it right here. That, that may be a smarter idea. Okay, well that zombie. Oh, there we go. That's what I need. If some of you guys are bothered that I'm using a pickaxe, it's better than my fist. So, you know, whatever. All right, so let's see. I'm I'm gonna just gonna keep it in line with the house. So that'll be. I'll just make it a six by six. So one, two, three, four. So just gotta keep counting, man. Alright, so you guys may think this is animal cruelty because I'm just going to have like every animal under the sun. I'm probably just going to put pigs and cows in this one because all they are is going to be more the food product. Then I'm going to put some sheep in another one and uh, you know that will just be for wool, whatever the hell I need wool for. And then I'll make a chicken one. So I'll at least keep them separated but I'll keep the, the uh, cows and the pigs in the same one since they're more of just like the product of food. 
or whatever. Then all I'm going to do is make it too deep because they can't jump and then all I'll do is just build my way out. I don't really have any any set plan on how I'm going to really do this. It's just all this is kind of ghetto living right now. I'm a poor, poor man trying to make it in the blocky world that is Minecraft. I don't know.